Look at this photographer shoot. He doesn't look like he knows what he's doing. Watch, he like kind of fidgets and fumbles and moves the camera. Is he even taking any pictures? I mean, who can tell? This is Gary Winogrand, one of the great photographers of the 20th century. I could not believe when I saw, like, this is what he looks like when he shoots. Look at the life in this photo. There's so many interactions happening, so many intimate moments happening in one photo. Look at the contrast of realities. You have this man alone in the wheelchair and these women, high fashion, like the light of God upon them. And this child is the only person noticing the man. Gary's first wife, Adrian, said, quote, being married to Gary was like being married to a lens. Gary was a force of nature. He was beloved by all the New York photographers. He was good friends with the likes of Joel Meyerwitz and Lee Friedlander, and he helped to inspire them. But it was difficult for him because in spite of being acknowledged as such an amazing, influential photographer, he was in a very important MoMA show in 1967 called New Documents with Lee Friedlander and Deanne Arbus. He still struggled. He never had any money. He was out taking pictures constantly. And when he passed, at the early age of 56 from cancer, he had thousands of rolls of undeveloped film and even more that had been developed but never printed in any way. Gary was a true photographer's photographer and we owe him a debt of gratitude for all the work and all the efforts he put in over the years to legitimize our medium. I wanna close on Gary talking in his own words because he had such a beautiful voice. He was a beautiful person. You know, your photographer is responsible for two things. Once you you put your body where you want it to be, uh, what's in the frame and when you snap the shutter. That's what, you, that's what the photographer does. The camera does the rest. Well, you know, you get what the camera saw in the end. You are responsible for what's in the frame, what's in the edges, and when the shutter is snapped. Okay. I try to frame in terms of what I want to include. I don't think about pictures when I'm far. When I'm photographing, I see life. That's all there is, you know, I mean, in my viewfinder, it's not a picture there. You're not a picture.